So I finally got my spare tire delete panel. Archer Fabrication makes them. Uh, so if you guys are wondering where you can get one, just go hit up Archer Fabrication and you should be able to find one. Which is nice about it is, you know, it's light aluminum. I forgot which aluminum it is. But it's already cut out and it's pretty much almost a perfect fit for the spare tire. So as you guys can see here, I think in the previous video when I was doing the oval dry swap, I mentioned how this car, when I bought it, it had all this sound uh, foam, sound dentining foam or whatever you want to call it in the back. And look what I found. That right there, it looks like a rust hole, but at the same time, let me see if I can get a, get a better view. That back there is a exhaust shield, a muffler shield. And then this out here, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know if it was cut or something, but whatever. Anyways, I'm actually gonna cut everything out, so shouldn't worry about that anymore. I do have to clean up, especially that wiring right there. It's a freaking mess. Probably what I'm gonna do right now is just try to remove as much of the foam as I can so I can have an idea uh, where to cut, because with this right now, I really can't tell where I'm gonna be cutting. And also, I still haven't welded shut these uh, pieces that I cut for the oval dry swap. I'm probably just gonna cut it out and actually weld a nice plate on it. Uh, same as that side. But yeah, let's start doing this. So I made a little bit of progress. Uh, I tried scraping it off and it wasn't working at all. So I decided to use uh, one of uh, those wire wheels on. I have one on the drill and one on the angle grinder, which, yeah, that one's almost gone. <laughs> so I gotta get a new one. But regardless, yes, it's a messy job, honestly. And the whole car has this, well, most of it back here. So I'll probably do that another day, but for now I was most concerned on getting most of the stuff up here so I can actually, like I said, see where I have to cut for the uh, tire delete plate. So now I'm just gonna take the washer fluid reservoir and the connectors and all that out and then I'll start test fitting and then marking where I gotta cut.
right, so you guys can see now it actually says flush. Uh, this thing fits pretty nice, honestly. Uh, like I said, when I got all of that foam out, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but all the little holes align. So you'll use, like right here, you'll use the screws, the factory screw holes back here. Like I said, I have to fix this up a little bit more, weld it, make it look nicer, but now that I actually know where everything's at, now I can mark and then start cutting the spare tire the compartment and then finally put the plate on and should be good. So you guys can see I had to take my rear bumper off so I can get to this size and cut off the remaining part but yeah there she is she's all out like I said the parts that I had to cut was these right here uh, let me see if it focuses right here so these uh, back here so that's why I had to take the bumper off but yeah there she is mess of wires but uh, I still have to take the shield out well because remember I don't have any exhaust going through the back but yeah it wasn't that bad to cut it off so I used I used a angle grinder with a cut off wheel to cut it off uh, but I also used this to do the final cuts and it worked out pretty good honestly so yeah now it's just clean this up I do want to fix all the wiring a little bit here because previous owner for some reason I don't know it's just a freaking mess here and I want to get as much as the sound dentining foam as I can out of here and then I can put the plate back on the carpet and she should be good so yeah this really isn't honestly it's really not that bad of a job um, it just takes some time, you know, to actually do a clean cut. I kind of messed up right here. You guys can see I went a little bit high, but it's not horrible. I can clean it up. Um, one of the reasons a lot of people do this, honestly, is so you can get access to your rear differential, those two bolts. If not, if you still have the that spare tire compartment on, you technically have to drop your rear subframe to replace a rear differential but this way now I have a lot of space it's easier to you know take it apart and all that uh probably in the next video i'll, got, I'll show you guys the final product and where i'm at with the car so yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you follow me on instagram if you guys want to keep up with all the updates with the car this is where i usually post everything so if you guys want to be like updated with the car go to my instagram all right guys i'll see you guys in the next video See ya.